Genius 7.0, the key features of the new release. What's Genius? Genius is the easy, comprehensive and user-friendly IGV Group technical commercial configurator. It allows the setting of customized solutions and the definition of the product aesthetics and optional features, generating detailed quotations and a dimensional plan of the project in real time. Genius is a native software, fully integrated in the company system for an easy processing of the purchase orders. Genius 7.0 Which are the key features of the new release? Genius is a powerful and constantly evolving software, which has always been aligned with the development of new products and various solutions. The 7.0 release offers a brand new Genius experience. Let's learn more about these new features. New products added. Various car sling types available. Technical feasibility assessment. Configuration data transfer. Let's get some insights about the key features of the new release. These tutorials will provide some step-by-step -step guidelines and instructions about the Genius 7.0 user interface with a simulation of the configuration procedure as well as a description of the features of this new release. The first tutorial shows how easily Genius allows to modify the car sling type and position during the configuration step and how you can change a standard sized lift car into a car with special dimensions. Let's start selecting the Domus Lift product in the aluminium model. Then the shaft type, that is reinforced concrete, and the door type, in this case, swing doors. From the installation type drop-down menu, select a model with standard dimensions. Using the data entered so far, Genius automatically prompts the dimensions of the doors and the lift car. Now, select the type and position of the car sling, for example, an overturned car sling with left-hand positioning. By entering the number of stops, doors automatically appear in the bottom left corner of the screen, which can then be modified by compatible type. Let's fill the fields of travel, speed and piston type. Now, by clicking the Calculate Dimensions button, Genius calculates the space required to position the system. After the calculation is completed, the program allows you to choose between minimum suggested shaft and minimum shaft size. After selecting one of the two options, the dimensional values are shown in the technical diagram. Click the View Plan Layout button in the bottom right corner and wait for the program to display the layout in real time. Now, let's try to simulate the car sling type change from an overturned car sling to a cantilevered car sling. To do this, simply change the selection in the car sling type drop-down menu. Once the change is applied, the program processes again the shaft dimensions. The above procedure is therefore repeated to select the dimensions of the minimum shaft to assess the design layout. Finally, let's simulate the change of our installation with standard dimensions into one with special dimensions. From the installation type drop-down menu, select one of the special model options and fill in the dimensions of the car and doors as required. At the same time, let's also change the position of the car sling, moving it from left to right directly from the car sling position drop-down menu. Genius processes again the design according to the changes and updates of the technical drawing, prompting the recommended shaft dimensions.
When the technical layout meets your requirements, click the Create New Quotation button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Genius automatically transfers the technical data set so far to the quotation form and allows the user to continue with the configuration of the system aesthetics by selecting the finishes. In the second tutorial, Genius supports the user during the configuration step, constantly monitoring actions and drawing attention to any mistakes. The tutorial also shows how you can easily change the lift car and structure type. Let's start selecting the Domus Lift product in the steel model with back car sling. Let's now have Genius perform the dimensional calculation of the shaft and, as seen above, it prompts two shaft alternatives to choose from. Let's try to calculate the layout design without selecting one of the two options. Genius closely monitors the user's actions and, as in this case, prompts an error message. In this case, it prompts the user to select the shaft dimensions from the selection options. After clearing the error message and applying the correction, let's calculate again the layout. After the calculation, if the user is not satisfied with the prompted technical solution, they can easily replace the car type in one click by selecting the aluminium model directly from the car line drop-down menu. Genius processes the design as well as the new car and door dimensions again. Then, based on the change applied, it prompts the user to reset the shaft dimensions. At the same time, let's also change the piston type from a direct model to an indirect one. Let's have Genius recalculate the shaft dimensions and, in this case, the minimum shaft size is selected. If the user does not like the structure in the updated view, this is an iron model. They can easily replace it by selecting a new type from the shaft type top menu. In this case, let's select an aluminium shaft. After the change is applied, Genius prompts us again to reset the shaft dimensions. It performs the required checks and recalculates the potential dimensions. Now we can proceed with the quotation by clicking the Create New Quotation button at the bottom right. The technical and dimensional data set so far are always editable, even within the estimate panel, and it is possible to go back to the previous screen at any time. The third tutorial shows how Genius leads the user during the configuration step by providing all details required for filling the quotation. Let's learn how to switch from the quotation panel to the assessment panel and vice versa in an extremely easy way, also in case of very complex configuration or when a design review is required. Let's begin with a more complex configuration than the previous ones, which includes a lift with automatic doors and two adjacent entrances, so as to show how Genius performs a close check of the user's actions. In this case, a car size not suitable with the selected model has been entered. The software prompts the suitable size range. Let's proceed with the advanced configuration, entering all the data requested and prompted by Genius. In this case, it is also necessary to select the door type in the relevant box at the bottom left. When all the fields are filled in, let's have Genius process the shaft dimensions. Genius performs a general check of all submitted parameters and a technical feasibility check. In this example, no compatible solutions are found in relation to the dimensions of the shaft. If a plan view is required, 
The software prompts us the lack of technical feasibility, which in this case is due to the car dimensions not being compatible with the other features of the installation. Let's change the car dimensions as suggested by the software and request the dimensional calculation of the shaft again. The software prompts indications on the door sizes compatible with the selected installation type. Then, let's modify both the door dimensions and the opening direction as indicated. When the setting is complete, the dimensions of the shaft where the installation is to be inserted are prompted and the software processes the layout to assess the solution. Let's continue with the aesthetic configuration of the installation by clicking on the Create New Quotation button at the bottom right corner. If during the filling process you notice that the solution is not as required, it is possible to completely change the installation modifying the technical and dimensional data directly from the Quotation tab. Let's now change our design, setting up an installation with two opposite entrances instead of adjacent. Using the Study button, located on the right of the Quotation panel, the user is brought back to the previous screen to display the updated layout and check that the new settings comply with the requirements. The software performs continuous checks and informs the user that the configured system only accepts doors with a specific opening direction. Before continuing with a new calculation, it is therefore necessary to modify the doors as suggested. Genius checks continuously and does not allow incorrect or incomplete configurations to be finalized. Once the design has been checked and it complies with the requirements, simply save the changes to confirm the data entered before going back to the quotation window and proceeding with the aesthetic configuration of the product. In the fourth and last tutorial, another very important genius feature is shown, namely the possibility of designing the lift car starting from the shaft dimensions. Let's start designing by clicking the search model from shaft dimensions in the top menu. Enter the available shaft measures and select the most suitable configuration for our project. In this case, it is a single entrance installation with the car sling on the left. Now, click the Search Models and Car Solutions button to display all compatible solutions, both with aluminium and steel cars, in descending order from largest to smallest. In this list, you will also find information about the doors. In the box below, all special solutions are prompted in descending order from largest to smallest. Once the required model has been selected, click the Select and Report Model Data button at the bottom so that all the details are imported into the main screen. Finally, select the car sling and piston type as we have seen previously. Let's calculate the shaft dimensions in order to display the updated layout. IGV Group, for more than 50 years at the service of vertical mobility.